All right, so yesterday I was playing the game and it just kind of cut out on me uh, right at the end. So I did not save, and hopefully this will this will uh, not auto save me to a place where we can't get in. Earth, our future. Nature has reclaimed the ruins of our forgotten civilization. Use a shadow war bore's corruption arrows to turn machines hostile to any other machine. The resource used to craft corruption arrows is found on dead corrupt. Oh, that's interesting. The Nora Protector outfit protects against melee attack. The focus indicates that the corruptor is weak to fire. The hidden heat core weak point appears as soon as the machine enters its on fire state. Oh, okay. Locate cauldrons and override their cores to learn to override. Blah, blah, blah. Elizabeth, good to, uh. It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robot? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. Mm -hmm. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And we'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hmm. hated each other. Mm-hmm. A file has been recovered. A file's been recovered? This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, no. self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I don't... Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. No. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. Yeah. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Another thing has been recovered. So we didn't kill everything. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's oh. not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Hmm. Exactly as I've designed it. 
or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Hmm. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. <clears throat> what made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <sighs> this... This doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. You're a clown. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. <laughs> I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. You just in did. Minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Yeah, cough it up. Silence. That's Thank you. my name. That wasn't hard, now, was it? Why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. What is your quest? You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found in the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. <laughs> Same to you, bro. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Uh-huh. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. Right. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. Mm -hmm. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Well? Are you ready to go get the answer? Of yeah, course boy. I am. Then why are you still standing here? Because I'm talking to you, silly head. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? Mm-hmm. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Now that's enough talking. Be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. 
You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Nice. Very well. Proceed. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate even over vast distances. Oh, that's useful. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. Well, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. Nice. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. <laughs> so far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. An AI, maybe? All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Indeed. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. Right. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. Mm -hmm. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Cool. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Hmm. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Mm -hmm. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Indeed. Alright, here's the real Is question. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered <clears throat> includes mentions of life extension techniques. Hmm. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Mm-hmm. Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Right. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. Cloning is still on the table. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Oh, okay. Grave Horde. Cherry name. Indeed. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. <laughs> okay, we learned of the ancient past, and we well, gained a skill point. down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Alright. So, go to Grave Horde is level 18. Oh, we got so much stuff to do before that. All right. Rope caster. So I need to find something and, and just start spamming rope caster. So fatal inheritance will probably be our next mission.
It is easier to go down than up, isn't it? Getting goosebumps. Come on, Aloy. Not even that cold. Oh, man. That is so nerve wracking. Way down. She's coming. So I'm gonna have to find a way to whoop that thing without any healing. <laughs> and that's how Aloy died. You're okay, right? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're fine. Still looking.
Walk this way. Come on. And yet, they still haven't found me somehow. doing good work. So let's just start over from the beginning. <laughs>
Ouch. Nice.
sweet. Okay. Alright. I do believe I've taken out almost everything through sharpshooting. See here. Fighting at our side, Meridian will They're be wrong. ours once more. All right. So what I need to do is I need to drop some of my crap. Got anything that's five percent? I need to drop anything that's five percent. I need to do this uh, tutorial. Just That didn't count as tying him down. Interesting. Okay, what else do we have over here? the rat right now. Don't need that rat either. Getting soaked from melted snow. Indeed.
that racket away? Hey. I need food, bro. You're not a lot of food. Full but I still ready. need food. Oh, I got all the rat skins I need. Okay. Uh... Rats, rats. Alright. Wow, I hurt myself. Oh, that's nice. Clearly didn't do what I needed it to do, so let's just keep going this way. There's some sh machines in the distance. Tear off the horns of the ch charger, apparently. All right. Uh. All right. Hold up. What am I doing? working towards scavenger plus I think hmm, those are all worth three nice okay I've maxed out. Hmm. Rope caster ammo pouch upgrade. Okay. Okay. Alright, 
something amazing there. Improve tear capacity. Hmm. This has improved tear. just doesn't seem like we're doing much with this. Alright. Quests. Tutorial. Tie down small machine. Chargers. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna... Man, this seems like a really bad idea. Okay, tutorial finished. So I basically just have to shoot them twice, and they're tied down. Fatal Inheritance is next. Can't keep it down. That's really freaking useful. That's really, really, really nice. Okay, so somewhere in this direction there should be a merchant. Hey, merchant, what's up? So, Shadow Tripcaster. Okay. Arrow Breaker. Protector. Well, well defended against melee. Okay. Definitely need to grab that free sample. Okay, what do we have that is just for trading for metal shards? Ancient toothpick. Ancient chimes. I love how they have these great names for just normal everyday items, and they have no idea what they are, so they just name them for what they can figure out they do. It's great. Alright. Okay, so nothing amazing. I don't have the money for any of this, so... Okay... I do need to buy some health potions. Okay.
30. 36? Wow, 46. Nice. 36. 36. That's going to have some terrific handling. 30. Shot coil sounds good. All right. Okay. So I need to sell this card just trip caster. Hmm. You know what? I want to sell every green one. sell that one either. Okay. Alright, so what can I buy? For 253, not much. Okay, none of that good stuff. Yeah, fox skin and fatty meat, I can get the golden fast travel pack, which basically removes the ability, the need for fast travels, although right now I'm really not a desperate need. Full metal, uh, full, full potion sounds good. Uh, before I do, ah, oh, dang it! I wish it wouldn't let me drink one that I, I absolutely have no use for. Alright. So I can get two more of these outfits. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Did I buy everything I need from her? I think I wanted to buy some more health potions. You know... <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, Unfortunately. Currently, I can only get one if I buy it from people that I would consider dishonorable. I do have like the the PlayStation site like up and the PS5 console like website and I'm just constantly refreshing it. Ooh, a fire wire. That sounds cool. Aw, I need more metal shards. <laughs> I spent all my metal shards. Ah, the foolish vanity of man. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. Alright. So... Um... Yeah. Fatal Inheritance sounds good. great is that my my horse could hear that but those things couldn't I'm 
Oh man, it's been so long since I saved. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right. All right, where am I headed? If it's a new area, I'm just going to I'm just going to take the ride and if it's not I'm just going to go fast travel, because I do have gobs of fast travels at the moment. Oh, it is a new area. Whoa, what's up there? Nothing. Don't mind me. You saw nothing. They're still trying to fire at me. <laughs> and the game is like, um, that's not how we wanted you to do that. It's like, eh, too bad. Move along now. That was a really abrupt end to the snowstorm, wasn't it? But yes, uh, Ross, that is one of my priorities since November is to keep my eyes open if a PS5 comes available. Maybe I should meet up with Aaron. Nah, I've already got a mission. This must be when Asan was supposed to check in. Come on, what are you waiting for? I'm busy. Feel like talking? Nope. That is one small quibble I have with this game is that my creature will start running slower and slower. Unless I say, yeah. And that gets kind of old. It would make sense if it was like an actual horse, but since it's a machine, it's not tired. It's just going slower because. That's very true. I guess I can't blame you for that. I do enjoy the robot dinosaurs though. That's that's to me that's that's the enjoyable part of this game. The robot rams are less cool. And the robot horses are less cool. Like, I would just want the entire game to be robot dinosaurs, and I would be all over that. I'm not a threat to you. Yep. Seriously, everything else is like, why is this here? Like, ditch everything but the robot dinosaurs. Seriously. Start. Well, don't stand in the road.
It's like the game is all, well, we got robot dinosaurs, and we got robot alligators, and we got robot brams, and we got robot horses, and it's like, yeah, the only thing I care about is the robot dinosaurs. Literally, yeah, that's it. Everything else is padding. And not particularly interesting padding. And it's like, yeah, but you can't ro ride a robot dinosaur. It's like, I would love to ride a robot dinosaur. This must be Ronimon's family estate. It's not like quitting talk. This thing, I can't ride robot dinosaurs. I'd be all over that. Oh, apparently the robots have taken charge here. Hmm. Hmm. Legit, though, this is my favorite part of the game. I'm down. The others haven't noticed you. Stealth, stealth kills, that's not something that I would have guessed I would enjoy as much as I do. That is really freaking fun. And I know there's like entire games that are devoted to, to stealth and like that's that's a thing, right? But I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't interest me. Well, until I started actually playing a game with lots of stealth, and then it's like, that's awesome. All right, all right. Let's see if this works. Seriously? made these machines attack without warning. Right. Exactly. Tethering is like, oh man, this is great. And it's like, oh, it's all right. It's like, no, no, no. It's actually great. Oh, investigate the estate. Oh, okay. Scan everyone. Here's something. I need to get in there and look at that thing. End of the workshop, huh? Okay. 
Don't suppose the front door's open. Of course not. Um, I wonder if over there works. Hmm. Locked. There must be a way in. Oh, come on. Right here? There we go. Yeah, just Nathan Drake it. That's easy. Nope. I meant to do that. That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. <laughs> Don't suppose you can turn it off. Okay, that should cut the signal. Someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. Mm hmm. That is a little worrisome. Unlocks from the inside. Oh, that's good. All right. Uh, give me a moment. I'll be right back. But yeah, it was actually it was actually your game that taught me um, how much I really actually enjoy um, stealth stealth takedowns. Because um, just you know, as Spider Man, it's just that's the best. Oh, we're still investigating the estate. Okay. is very stealthy, which, yeah, um, is somewhat surprising, given his choice of outfit. Source of the shouting. I'll let this person out before I rob this place. Can you hear me? Oh, thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. I found a lore. I think someone might have put it here deliberately to draw on the machines. Did your father have enemies? <laughs> Just me, oh, no. I mean. Brannaman, my brother. At first there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when we kicked him out. It was Ronamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. 
that murderous snake. We can't let him. Can't let me do what, sister? You're making sure I inheritance. We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? No, oh, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. Uh. As for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing you myself. <laughs> About to get loud. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was great. Okay, okay, I need... First off, ah, stop dying. No, not that one, I need ice. Okay. You know what? I think I'm doing good. Stop dying, you coward. Uh. Ah. I'm hiding. You can't see me. Oh, crap. I didn't hurt. me for a moment. Yeah, that seems that's pretty cool. I love that it is like with this lure I shall call machines and then you shall ah Like they had the, the initial meeting and then someone was like, well, why didn't the machine just attack him? And someone was like, you know what? You're right. Surrounding me, you jerk.
Um, that's not where I want to be. That was easy. Thoroughly enjoyable. Can I'm glad I talk there to are her? good people Thanks. like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. You're right, it is dangerous to go alone. Remarkable reward box and some XP. Health plus one. Anything good in here? No? Oh, alright, fine. How about upstairs? Oh. Upstairs is behind a door? That's weird. Ooh, I need to go get that charger. Oh wait, no, that's that's my horsey. Alright. Well, why didn't you say that was a horsey? What's over here? Is it this girl? Have I already gone to talk to her? Yes, I did. I do wish it was a little easier to see what was and was not loot. See, I don't ever use these freaking traps. I tried to use the traps, and I just died so much. It's like, okay, well, I'm not using these traps. I just freaking gave up on them. Completely. Potions are useful, though. Man, I do love I do love tying stuff down. I do. It's good crap. Is that horsey? No. There we go. I know there's a mount button. It's cooler just to jump on. the 15s. Uh, that, all of them? Yeah, that's not happening for a bit. Demand and supply. Gather a long leg lens and a snap ma lens.
All right, so that one was. Hold up, hold up. That one's 143. All right, we'll do that one first. This is how I die, isn't it? These are the things that murdered me in cold blood, if I remember correctly. I need a way to hide. Okay. These things are vulnerable to fire, if I remember correctly. They cast ice. Oh. Use the ice protection. And let's use some fire traps, because why not? I'm going to use some um, shot traps just because I need to get rid of some of them. Okay. here and while I'm here let's ah. all right whoa, whoa, whoa. okay I'm a little suicidal. Oh, I can't? Oh, come on. All right. Right over here, man. Look, your friend found me. friend I 
out much better than last time. A lot less of my dying. Okay. That's the correct direction. This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. Long leg lens. Oh, that's the wrong button. somewhere around here. I'll find a use for you. Okay, so basically chocobos. Got it. Weakness is lightning, huh? Okay. Um, I misjudged his path.
See, it was all part of my plan all along. All recon machines killed. Alright. Return to the traitors. Oh, hi. Indeed. Man, I was doing really well up to the point when I died horrifically. But right up to that point. Uh, but yes, yes, uh, Jeff Goldblum speaketh wisdom. Return to the traitors, so I've got everything I need. Need to head back now. <laughs> the game is like, we're just gonna Even ignore that part where these. those things all murdered you, and we're just gonna gonna keep the, the good and ignore the bad. It's like an unreliable storyteller is like, wait, that's not right. What I meant to say is she survived. It's like, yeah, I was wondering. That's one thing I really freaking loved about Dragon Age 2. Like, there's a lot that's really bad about Dragon Age 2, but I freaking loved the unreliable storyteller. Where, like, at one point, the character he's telling the story to is like, that doesn't make any sense. That's completely false. And he's like, oh, well, would you believe this, then? <laughs> That's good crap. All right. All right, what is this? What am I looking at? Oh, it was just it was just medicine. I was like, oh, I've gotta figure this out. What is this? It's a mystery to be solved. No, it's I just I was overthinking it. But seriously, though, all the robots that aren't dinosaurs were like if you went to Jurassic Park and they also had, like, Stocking up. bison and and antelope grazing around. It's like, why is this here? I don't care about any of this. I was like, just look at that majestic saber-toothed tiger. It's like, yep, don't care. More interested in the brontosaurus is just sitting there minding his own business.
Hey, we made it back to town without dying this time. Obviously, we made it back without dying every time. The time when it, I appeared to die. Yeah, you imagine those. Where to go if you're lost? I'm a guard, not the town crier. There's my campfire. Check out these wares. Come take a look. Where? Take a look at these wares. Don't pass up these. Sorry, that was the wrong inflection. Where? There. Hunters, rounders, bring us your metal. Don't pass up these goods. I brought you both the parts. So, what do you say? I don't suppose I could buy just the one. You'd buy the wrong one. So give the hunter her shards for both. Darn student. Of course, of course. Here you are. If this is the price I have to pay. The price you have to pay? The snap maw lens might just cover the loss we take on the other. It won't sell for a loss, charcoal burner. You'd pay handsomely for a long leg lens if you had an imagination. I have an imagination. When you rattle that piece of junk around, I think of your skull. I told you from the beginning this wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation, that we would have class. Here, and hold this lure for me. A true metal seller knows to get his hands dirty. <laughs> and you like machine oil on my foot. Machines running mad. Civil War. This is a twilight of the Mad Sun King's. I prefer the one about. Oh man. Is there a way back up, or am I gonna have to just do this the long way? This isn't the Savage East. Best behave yourself. I told you from the beginning this wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation, that we would have problems. Oh. And I told you a true metal seller knows to get his hands dirty. Indeed. Hey, all right. All right, how do I get up there? I do. All right, get up here. And how do I get up here? Come on. Man, you are really obnoxious. You know that game. There we go. All right. See, that was easy. A little rangy for a banana, aren't you, girl? Okay. Ah. <sighs> All right, what's next? Oh, first, let's open this treasure box. <laughs> more sh more shocks. Great. All right. Um Okay, ammo crafter will be fine. What's this? Ah, sharp shot bow quiver upgrade. Nice. Okay. All right.
Alright, so next, Weapons of the Lodge, which I'm definitely not going to be doing. Alright. To foreign lands. Mailing Captain of Day Tower needs assistance searching the valley for a missing Karja portal. Or, missing Karja patrol. Man, the other one was cooler. No new areas will be going, then I'm just gonna fast travel. Uh, I got 29 of them. That's plenty. Hi, kitty. Yes, you're a sweetie. Oh, uh, yes, you're a yawny cat. Yes, you are. You really are. Yeah, we, we've gone from three cats to one cat, and fortunately the one that's left is, like, the best behaved of the three. <laughs> the other cats have gone to the great litter box in the Machines sky, unfortunately. Across Captain Ballon's patrol here. One of the Karja soldiers fell here. Oh, that's bad. The other bad. soldiers must have retreated. But to where? Follow the tracks. <laughs> Your cat is not a cat person. Honestly, cats really don't like cats, I've noticed. Usually. This one did. This This cat likes cats. This cat likes everybody. Another Karja soldier. Did anyone survive? At least his death came quickly. So, Smokey, he's the one that we have left. Um, he is that he is that person who just doesn't take a hint and is just like all up in your business is super friendly and won't stop talking. That's this guy. Oh, we'll found a campfire. It's over there. Investigate the area, huh? Well, let's see. I might need that. Oh. Hey. You see any people who died come through here? They probably weren't dead when they walked by. Probably. Alright. Ooh, I need to sell any of this stuff. Yeah, sell for metal shards. Cat also bites his nails, and I think he learned it from me, and I kind of feel bad. <laughs> yeah.
He does it a lot, though. Like, more than any other cat that I can remember. Get the area. The machine saw me. Come over here. This can't be the helmet from the last Karja soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here, then ran off. <sighs> Another track. Aha. Uh -huh. Blood everywhere. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. I mean, maybe. I appreciate the hero's journey they kind of made for this character. Not overly complicated, but still. Surprise attack! I love the names for things. So you find a wristwatch and it's like, ah, you found an ancient bracelet. Okay. Okay. How do I want to go about this? Pick that back up. Okay, good. That's got their attention. Indeed. They're vulnerable to fire, that's why I used fire. Yeah, 
Yes, you would expect that fire would be incredibly un ineffective. Unaffected? Do. Oh crap. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Yeah, I know. Oh, crap, crap, ah, crap, crap, crap. No! Right, they're, they're the right age, but not the right, they're not actually dinosaurs. Got him. Stop. I accidentally killed a, a rat and all. Giving the fish plenty of warning. And on the plus side, I picked up a lot of goodies right there. Aha! <sighs> uh -huh. I found a trail. Trails are easier to follow whenever it's dark. Well, unfortunately, I was fighting monsters in the dark.
I love it when a plan comes together instead of just completely falling apart like it normally does. All right. Um I can always use Worse for the wear, found in frozen, and sorry, in foreign lands. Maybe he went up. Oh, looks like he went around. Okay. Anything interesting up here? No. All right. Minus sun, what is that? Sun. I'm never really done. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feet. What's up? I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. Mm-hmm. Well, I apologize for my, um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. It happens. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Day Tower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, Like some prisoner. <sighs> Fine. Go by yourself. Indeed. Wait. Look. I got in a tussle with a snap maw. It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The feet is still in the water. Uh-huh. That explains the bow I found on its carcass. Indeed. You defeated it? Alone? Indeed. <sighs> Imagine that. Do you want the bow or not? Thank you. I, uh... I didn't want to die in foreign lands. Like my men. May the sun light their passing. Okay. Thirty seven hundred XP. Nora is the name of her tribe. So she's one of the Nora. But her name is not Nora. Her name is Aloy, I think. seen all this. Alright. Yep. Long leg. Override is currently locked. Override is also locked for the snap mod. I have unlocked the charger chains I haven't taken down yet. Okay, so what's next? Oh, we still have to do a hunting grounds to do that one. machines with fire wires. Man, I just used them. I just used them. I should have... Uh... I mean, it's not going to be hard to do. I just need to find some freaking creatures and kill them. I already got this, didn't I? Yeah, I got that. 
It's like, there's loot over here. Oh, oh, oh. Riker building. Corruption partial. Hello. Our records show you've been researching safe, comfortable, affordable apartments in the Salt Lake City area. You should consider the Riker building. Take a moment to review some of the features we offer our tenants. Totally automated facility monitored by a bleeding edge robotic security team. Always comfy biometric climate control. Auto just, uh, auto just the temperature of every room. Complimentary Faro runner upon signing a lease. Let your runner grab groceries and collect packages while you enjoy the luxury of the Riker lifestyle. Our Hollow Suite features are free. Fully immersive tour of the facilities, including a customizable mock-up of your favorite or your future Riker apartment. Visit us today and start living. All right. You're just jealous and wish you had a grocery bot alligator. for the trail. No, 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 no. I want this. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Have you under ever wanted a chocobo? Well, then you're in luck. Man, all these things are alive now, aren't they? Man. That's not good. Saving these for the trail. Oh, you silly goose. What do you think? You think I'm gonna outrun those things? Definitely worth a shot. I can swim faster than alligators. I mean, not normal alligators, obviously, but uh, robotic ones? Yeah, sure. Good for an old remedy. See, all Michael Phelps is missing is mo proper motivation.
Hey, we cleared the corruption zone. Oh yeah. It's way cool. I agree. It does feel like you're fighting something that's just absolutely terrifying. They're otherworldly sounds. something else up here. Right. <laughs> exactly. See, the motivation makes sense. Get T-O-O -O started. Get to this started. Thank you for purchasing the TIDO Residential Opera Organizational Assistant. Please follow these instructions to guide your TIDO through setup. Before activating your TIDO, please take special care to tidy up your place of residence manually. Don't worry, it's the last time you'll ever have to. <laughs> and you thought they were kidding. Download the Tido app to your personal augmentation device. Activation code is printed on the underside of your Tido. Power up your Tido. Use the app to inform the Tido of which rooms you wish for it to service. Allow three minutes for the Tido to record the layout of your home and the locations of your personal possessions. For testing purposes, remove five to ten items from their usual locations. Tell your Tido, tidy time. If instructions have been followed correctly, your Taito should now be ready to keep your home tidy and organized. Enjoy your Taito Residential Organizational Assistant. Of course, if you haven't followed the instructions correctly, it will go berserk and murder you in cold blood. So, make sure you follow those instructions. What is the other one in? Everything's sharp and looming in the rain. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right. Looks like honoring the fallen is going to be next. Sun Priest Naman wants to usher in a new era of reconciliation between tribes by helping three pilgrims. Each wishes to mourn loved ones lost during the Red Raids, but obstacles stand in their way. Huh. So, this one's just a straight shot, right? Because if it is, yeah. All right, we're just going to fast travel then. I do like the idea of the sounds basically clearing everyone else out of line so you can be in first. That's pretty great. <laughs> I 
<sighs> Fire is represented by this icon. The Sharp Shot Bow features precision arrows that are effective for long-range combat. Their fire rate is low, but these arrows deal high damage. Dude, the damage is so high. Use the Create Job function to help find specific resources required for crafting or shopping purchases. Terror is represented by this icon. It describes the weapon's ability to knock components off of machines. This must be the Shrine of Kings that Naman told me about. We deserve to have a look! <laughs> it may have been meant for the Mad Sun King, but it's ours now. It's a public monument, not his private shrine. You won't get in there. That dried-up old prune in a robe sees to that. I can be persuasive. Indeed. But what does an Osram want with a Karja shrine, anyway? It reminds me of someone. Gone two years now. But what does a girl like you know of loss? Yep, never lost anyone in my life. Try me. I had a lover. Worked on monuments to their bastard king. Then he gave them a show in their sun ring for good measure. The Karja gave me back his broken bones, but what use are they? They won't build again. They won't make me smile. And seeing a statue of the Mad Sun King will? I, I need to see his work again. The marks his hands carved. The set of the metals they hammered. That's the soul of him. But that shriveled up old priest won't let me near it. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Every time I go near the statue, he shouts. Osram slaves built that thing. We deserve to have a look. It may have been meant for the Mad Sun King, but it's out. Turn away, child. The abiding Jahaman wishes to be alone in his retreat. If you want to be alone, go someplace else. Others want to pray here. Defile it, you mean? Yet another debasement of what was once pure. Truly, our tribe has lost the light. Our king is false. Our temple is corrupt, and our soldiers weak. The sun hastens across the sky for shame. <laughs> so the Karja have become impure? What does that even mean? Is Meridian not meant for those who built it, who made it great? It was pure before outlander squatters took it over. You mean Meridian was pure when the outsiders were in cages or dying in your arena? <laughs> the sun is pure, child. It is not our place to question its divine will, only to act upon it. I thought Avad taking the throne was the sun's will. The boy dishonored his father, dishonored us all. To kill a sun king, what shadow, what twilight time he brought upon us. <laughs> and how many more would the mad sun king have killed if Avad hadn't stopped him? The sun called for blood. There was no choice but to obey. You called the temple corrupt, but aren't you one of its priests? Mm -hmm. They call themselves sun priests, but they have no authority. Youths and sycophants all. Yet those who gave their whole lives to the sun's service are shamed and ignored. So and you kind of deserved it. A tantrum? A cry for attention? <laughs> you know nothing of our rights, and yet you dare to insult me. Mm-hmm. 
Sure do. Why do you think your army is weak? Because you're not at war with everyone? A Karja throne relying on forged dirt mercenaries? Preposterous! The so-called liberation was nothing but a purge. Our most blessed warriors, chased out of the city, exiled to Sunfall and the Forbidden West. Our tribe is torn. The ones who walked in light now go by shadow. And yet everyone but you seems happy they're gone. Mm-hmm. I'm done arguing with you. Stay or go, but I won't allow you to keep... You don't believe in the throne, the priesthood, the army, or the city, so I guess you have no authority here. Uh, I have the authority of the sun. Then call it for help. No one else will listen. There'll be a reckoning. You'll back away from it. He gave them the best work he'd ever do. And look at it now. They defaced it because they hated what it stood for. They defaced a thing slaves like him lived and died for. Slaves they've already forgotten. Short-sighted bastards the lot. If they thought their son set off this bridge, they'd jump after it. <laughs> I thank you for honoring my wish. I hope you can find peace. Uh, I wouldn't know what to do with it, any more than the Karja do. This mainspring. Charcoal smoke from a dozen forges. No big work. Decent liquor. <laughs> if we teach the Karja nothing else, steal to my soul will teach it. All right, so that way is 300 steps, and that way is 500 steps. So let's go the shorter route. Perfect weather for lazing around. <laughs> Should be so sunblessed. expect that cause you trouble. Grab some of this. What's that, horsey? Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me.
One more, huh? Pilgrim. Oh, what's up, bro? You are a better hunter than I. I'll paint the mark while the spirits of the Glintox linger. There'll be more where they came from. Yes. Indeed. There will always be more machines. Their spirits find new bodies, but we only last as long as memory. Hmm. That's why I must leave the story. A monument to our vanished shamans, to the wisdom the Karja bled from us. The machine oil in the paint will preserve it, preserve their memory against all that was cut away. You have my thanks, Hunter. Cool. All right, so that one that fell off the freaking cliff. I'm never going to find it, am I? Flower are so strange. Flower mark three. Let me make my way down there. I found this. Indeed. Oh, it's a boar. Good meat. Last one. Watch it not even be worth it. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not worth it. Oh well. Can't be too prepared. Help, I was too prepared. Oh, if only I had been lazier.
Well, that used to be my horse. <laughs> he just kind of fell to his death. Fortunately, I put forth the effort to have unlimited horses. Which kind of sucks for the horses, but what are you going to do? Okay. Ammo really hasn't been an issue for me, but I'm I'm working my way toward Scavenger Plus. Increased chance for extra resources from machines. I really like that idea. Need them soon enough. Hey there, replacement. Come on, Roach. That was hilariously effective. Alright, so I gotta kill these two snap moths, huh? One down, one to go. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. way. Again, hmm. we never left. I thought 
they go on forever. Surprise! When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. Right. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land. And she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests. And... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Keep that for later. Yeah, I need healing now. <laughs> later can wait. campfire. Okay.
I'll find a use for you. Okay. Lots of medicine in the jungle. I think I'm in the clear. Another, another campfire. Okay. And like I do in every game, I'm business, stranger. I'm playing a klepto. Oh, is this my uh, elevator? That is the elevator. Slowest elevator since Mass Effect. Oh, yeah. Game's like, that's not a loading screen. It's just it's as fast as the elevator can go. These guys give me so much honor. Thanks, guys. The Mad Sun King. Scan glyphs. Pamphlet. Each page in this screed is crammed with glyph text in a messy, hastily etched hand. Yeah, lots of stuff. I, I'm not going to read all this. I, this is this is too much stuff. A moment of your time, Outlander? What's up? What did you want to talk about? You were an Outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. Till the arrow, right? I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. I've come across one or two. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows, but some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machine started to go mad. Just 20 years Perhaps ago? Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. I've got a mark. I've got one mark one and one mark three. More importantly, I'm going to sell you my crap. You like crap, right? All right.
What do I have three of? Because if I have three of it, I can probably part with one. Holy cow, really? 2262? Till we meet again. Yikes. My noble Nora. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. The new yeah, that's what they all say. Interesting. Interesting. Able bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or <laughs> not choosy. So you've come back to the temple. I was invited back. The priests wanted to hear what I had to say about reconciliation with the other tribes. They're listening. At least they've begun to listen. There's a distance between ears and deeds. Right. Because of what we did? What you did. It was for the mourners. I think it helped them. You set them on the path. You can't know what their journeys hold. Such is the priest's lot. Mm-hmm. Perhaps a red robe would suit you. <laughs> Not me. Indeed. Besides, your temple doesn't even take women. We would be richer if we did. Go in light, my friend. And let the sun cast your way. Thank you, Naman. Where I'm going, I could probably use all the light I can get. Indeed. All right, remarkable reward box and fifty-three thirty. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, nice. Man, I suddenly got a lot of crap. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Stealth and resist corruption. Man, uh, I've got insane amounts of corruption resist on this bad boy. Hmm. Just freeze weave. 
Get some more resist freeze weave on that. good where we're at. Okay. share of a lucrative opportunity you again I never forget a face I've lost shards to <laughs> oh you know what let's just find a better better option here hunting for the lodge errand So some sawtooth oh, trophies no and stucker trophies. Just making sure I'm not jumping to my death here. Oh boy. You know what time it is? It's time for the elevator again. Woo boy. <sighs> so while we're waiting for this thing. I think I'm gonna head down to the bottom and then save, because I think uh, we're close enough to time to stop. I don't think I'm going to have time to do anything much. Mainly just wait on this elevator. So yeah, I only got five minutes left. It'll be just enough time for this elevator to finish going. Exiting Meridian. Entering the Meridian Village. In Soviet Russia, politics get involved with you. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later, Ross.